way, I'm meeting up with my team right now, the Haunted Hamilton Spooky crew, and we're going to all split up and investigate, so I'm gonna go talk to them right now. Hey guys, are you guys ready to investigate Gibson Street School? So, Ronnie, you're my tech guy for tonight, and you and I are going to kind of be the lead investigators. We're gonna walk through, and you guys are gonna split up and use your equipment. Sound good? All right, let's go find ghosts. Ronnie, you and I are this way. Stay safe, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gibson School. As Steph explains, we are the first paranormal group to come in and be able to investigate this incredible location. You're going to be seeing a lot of rooms tonight, but the most important place that you're going to see is the basement that I'm standing in right now. The basement goes on forever, hallway after hallway, dead end after dead end. But what's interesting is that there are all these little hobby holes, these nooks and crannies that we found through psychic experience that the children like to hide in because unfortunately for them, there is one female spirit that dominates this building that just refuses to let them go. You, what we hope to catch tonight is a lot of the reports that have been made about Gibson School, the reports of the sound of children's footsteps echoing through the ceilings, the sounds of laughter, the sounds of giggling, and even the sounds of lost children screaming as they make their way down the hallways. Even with the school's recent closure, the children that still haunt these grounds have been here for what must feel like an eternity, racing down these hallways trying to find their way back to their families. But what's interesting is the mention of that female apparition and these runes on the wall, because you see at Gibson, there's a maze behind the walls. There's almost another world that exists behind the stone and concrete. Maybe these runes are there to help protect the children as they try to find their way home. Now, during our initial walkthrough of this location, the one word that just kept repeating over and over again in our uh, psychic's mind was the word family. Uh, and in a lot of cases, there was the uh, psychic impression that uh, the children that are haunting these grounds are yearning to be able to go home one more time and see their families again. Now this is where all the hub of the paranormal activity kind of emanates from, Ronnie. There's little corridors and passageways where kids oh can get God. lost. Oh my God. What, Ronnie? Look at this fountain. <laughs> I'd rather drink out of the <laughs> toilet. <laughs> oh man, that's gross. Ronnie, be more careful, all right? I, I meant to do that. All right, you okay? You okay? Yeah, I uh, know I did it on purpose. All right, okay, that's all on good. On purpose. So, Ronnie, can you tell our viewers a little bit about the dice method that you practice when you paranormal Absolutely, investigate? absolutely. So the first thing uh, with the dice method is uh, D, stands for detect. So when you're in a haunted location, the first thing you want to do is find where there may be ghosts. So a lot of uh, ghost hunters use an EMF meter. I stands for interaction, so a lot of times when you find out where there's a ghost, you want to try to interact with it using an audio recorder. C stands for capture, so a lot of the times you may be filming the footage or even just using the audio recorder to, to capture the footage. And E stands for escalate, so a lot of the times, you know, maybe if you're in the most haunted place and there's nothing happening, a lot of people will use, you know, spirit boards or Ouija boards to, uh, to escalate whoever may be inhabiting the location. All right, well, speaking of escalate, Let's head on to the boiler room because right now Sue and Wanda are in the middle of a communication session and I'm kind of curious to see what they're picking up on. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. Yes. 
So when it comes to entering different rooms while ghost hunting, you want to tag the room. Tagging is stating your name clearly and loudly so other ghost hunters who may be recording audio or video footage can hear that you're there. Ronnie and Steph. Oh, God, look at the sink. I'd rather drink out of the fountain. <laughs> All right, so we're here with Wanda and Sue, and hey. you guys are uh, making some contact down here in the boiler room. We are. So tell me what's going on. Earlier we got uh, a recording of the PA system going off. Would you like to hear it? I'd love to hear it, yeah. Wow. Great. That's no one's equipment. Everybody was accounted for. So you guys are communicating right now, and I see your uh, K2 meters going off here. It's is this a hot spot? It is a hot spot. Are you communicating with somebody right now here? Yeah, we figure it's a janitor. OK. Well, what I'm thinking is uh, we have this evidence now. We'll put it on the computer, listen to it later. We're going to leave you guys to communicate, see if you can make more contact. Ronnie and I, let's go investigate a bit more. Check right, in with absolutely. some of the other team. All right, good luck, everybody. Yeah, yeah. thanks. <laughs> Yeah. Ronnie, let's go see what everybody else is up to, all right? Sounds good. to my mom, HH mom, and Belladon and Bailey and see what they're doing because I think they're communicating using this fur ball right here. Hi, Shia. This is Shia the Wolf. Now she's a trigger object for us. She's also my dog. <laughs> but, mom, what's going on in here? Perfect timing that you've come up here, Steffi. I came up the stairs and I could hear her singing, light singing from obviously little kids. They guided me in here and smack dab was a little girl and she was sort of going around in a circle like doing a little dancing. Shia immediately, immediately came over and she was following her in circles and the whole time while I was talking to her, Bailey was communicating with the, wow, so the ghost meter and asking questions going and she was answering us yes and no. She told us her name was Hannah, that she went to school here. You got her name that too. This was the, cool. the art class and, and she showed how she would go like this and how they had to go wash their hands. Dogs can be an invaluable tool while ghost hunting. Uh, it is believed that they can see and hear things that the human uh, brain cannot perceive. Um, so when that does happen, it's up to the ghost hunter to determine whether or not it is paranormal. And she's a cute dog. Who wouldn't want to play with her? <laughs> well, guys, we're going to leave you here to keep communicating with Hannah, yes, hopefully. Yes. Uh, Shia, you stay here. Hold down the fort. Do you want to uh, play ring around the We'll room touch seat? base with you guys in a bit. Okay. We're going to go continue investigating. Ronnie, the other thing is we need to go home, review all this evidence. We have a lot of stuff. We have EVPs. We have other kind of uh, video footage we got to go through. Maybe we should do that, see what we got, and then we come back for a follow-up investigation. Absolutely. All right, cool. Sounds good. Come on, Shia. 